All right, guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack once again. Uh, been out here this morning. I got up and uh, had a hard day of logging yesterday, so uh, I picked up a few logs that may have been a little bit heavy for me. Uh, this video is going to be more geared towards my friends in laser engraving and laser cutters. Uh, sawmill guys, I'm sorry, but uh, I got to switch over for a minute. Uh, today, I'm going to do a video. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about my, my rotary uh, jig that I use to hold my rotary stable and make sure that all my my Yeti cups and all those different types of cups are square and and don't have any variation from cup to cup, you know, due to movement or if you bump it or whatnot. And uh, folks have asked me, if, you know, hey, can I get one of those from you? And unfortunately, I designed this one specifically for my vacuum table. That's why it's got the holes there is to allow for the vacuum channels to pull the, the air out. And I've got little blocks that I've built in the back of mine that this thing just slides in here and locks up against them. And so this really wouldn't work for anybody else because not everybody's gonna have the exact table that I have. So I got thinking about that and a guy had requested uh, for me to maybe come up with something that, that other people could use that don't necessarily have this. And believe it or not, I have actually accomplished that and uh, if you'll stick around for a few minutes, I'll explain it to you and uh, show you how it works. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, got it all put together, got the bugs worked out of it. I tell you what, uh, most of it went pretty well designing it in light burn, but those legs kind of gave me fits getting that exactly right. Uh, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time, but there's no way for me to show you exactly what this thing looks like without getting up there and getting the camera and, and moving it around. So I'm going to take the camera and move it around and show you how I got this thing laid out and how it works. And uh, then we'll put the camera back on the tripod and discuss a little few other things. So give me just a second. I'm gonna grab this thing and move around and give you the walk around of it. All right, as you can see, the uh, jig works exactly like mine does. Uh, now the spacer, you, you know, you guys, if you need a spacer, you're gonna have to find somebody that's got a wood shop or something if you don't have the tools and 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 you're gonna have to outsource that. I can't I can't make that a light burn file. But the 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 device works exactly as mine does. It does not allow the the rotary tool to move without the whole machine moving by itself all right guys i had to ditch the tripod but as you can tell the the basic principle is identical to the way mine works all this is is a is a cavity that allows the rotary to sit down in it and keeps it from twisting keeps it from sliding or turning anywhere uh and i, I had to cut this thing because in order to be able to for folks to cut them at, at home and make their own, I wanted to make it as, as, as doable as possible. So this is actually two pieces, and I did me some little uh, joints here that make them lock together uh, when you lay it down. But the way that this thing stays still, and I'm gonna move my whole, my whole X tool just to show you how this works. The only way to get the rotary to move is to move the whole thing. So as long, if you bump your rotary, you know, I can't promise you something won't move, but, or if you bump your X tool, I can't promise you the rotary's not gonna move, but it's gonna remain a lot, a lot closer to perfect than what it would if you didn't have this. Because when you saw this thing, it has basically made the X tool and the rotary part of the same machine. And the way I've accomplished that is my, my the back back here, this board has a hole that is exactly and that was the painstaking part right there because getting that booger lined up was rough but this plate here actually will go up and down these legs on both sides both legs are slotted and as you can see it is a very very tight fit so that way there's no movement there uh, those two pieces are joined together and then they're held in place basically when you set the x tool down on top of them they're not going to move so that was what i came up with guys uh 
and believe it or not, <laughs> it works. So take the rotary out, lift your X tool out, and then this guy here will come up in two pieces. Oh, uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So, and it also makes it portable, easy to store. It's not all that big and doesn't require a huge piece of material to make because the problem that I have with the one that I built for myself is that you couldn't cut it with the D D1 because it was just too big. But I'm gonna walk you back through how this thing goes together just to show you it's, it's not complicated, it's not hard. And if you wanna make sure that your rotary is not gonna move, this is an easy way to do it. Lay your first piece down. Take your second piece, lay over here with the first piece, line up my little locks, place that right behind your legs, lift up the rotary, put the legs in the holes, make sure everything stays in place, insert the rotary device, and you're good to go. No more moving rotary tool. So, and this is gonna assure that your rotary is square to the machine because when I built this thing, I built it in light burn and used a square in light burn. So it, there shouldn't be any, any margin of error in it. And if there is, I'm sure it will be very minimal. All right, guys, I hope, uh, I hope this uh, helps out. And uh, I'm gonna try to make this file available on my Etsy. I, I would give it away, but let's be honest, it took me two or three burns to get this thing right, and I spent a lot of my time making it. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit out of it. I'll probably drop it on my Etsy store for a couple of bucks. And trust me, it, you would rather pay $2 for this thing than to uh, have to sit down and calculate all this. So I'm gonna try to use that. Maybe, hopefully, if I can get some money back, maybe I can upgrade some of my equipment in here, especially my cameras and whatnot. But I think this will be a, uh, a, a, a welcomed addition to anybody that's got an X tool, especially if you don't, don't have a, uh, a base on it, if you're just using a table or if you have a flat surface that you can sit it on. And one more thing that, that you can do that I, I didn't do, I built this for those guys that, that have nothing but an X tool and some plywood. That's what this is for. This is not for you guys that, that have the, you know, you, you've got your rotary sunk down in the table and you know, you've got it on an elevator. This isn't for you guys. This is for the guys that have an X tool and maybe they're working on a table. They've got a piece of sheet metal or they've, you know, one of those uh, cut resistant boards on there. This is for them. I don't have a honeycomb, so I don't know how you would make this work with one of those. I do know that as long as the, if whatever is underneath it, you can actually slide this up so the legs can go through this device. And so as long as your feet are sitting on the table, if you've got a honeycomb underneath this, you could just lay this on top of your honeycomb and it would, uh, it would slide up and down if, as long as the honeycomb kept it level. So, but like I said, this is not for some of you guys that have all the latest and greatest things. I've just seen a lot of people trying to use Legos and uh, other things to hold the rotary still and it just got my wheels turning and I got up this morning and for whatever reason, it was just on my mind to try to get this fixed so that a lot of these folks that are having trouble with tumblers, maybe this will help the situation. But I'm gonna break it down one more time, just show you how everything goes together. Just remove the rotary. All you gotta do is set that out and then lift the X tool off of it. And the two pieces simply come apart. And to put it back in place, all you gotta do, put the two pieces together, line up the uh, little joints there, lift the X tool, Make sure you set it down in those holes and then you can reapply your rotary there. And once you get this thing in there, it's, it's not gonna be moving, it'll keep it still. I'm not gonna guarantee it to be earthquake proof because we don't have earthquakes here to test it with, but it's a heck of a lot better than hoping and praying you don't bump anything. So I appreciate it and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing here. Uh, if you got any ideas that you think might help some of the new guys out, uh, drop me a comment and if i can come up with something i will uh but this is uh my latest creation here at the clack shack so hit that subscribe button and come back to see us thank you